Tenement here, and welcome back to another episode of Call of Duty Maps. In today's episode of Call of Duty Maps, we're doing a showdown from Call of Duty 4. And we have this is um, third to last map. Yeah. Then we're done. We caught four, we're moving on to Modern Warfare 2. So, how does that? How does that sound, guys? Alright, let's do this. Well, we got baskets. Okay, we have gunfire. We have gunfire. So, same thing with all the Call of Duty 4 maps gunfire. Hopefully, we can continue this with Vank and it might work. Some signs. Um, this is a relatively small map. Maybe it's your second option for when we win. It's not really colored. So far, like zero colors in Cod Four. You know what this reminds me? This reminds me of Verrucked. Like we can only stay in this area and this and these areas like that red room staying in. It. And I'd be looking at the fountain. Oh, I forgot this at the time to number two, so this is gonna be cut short, sorry. Symbolism. Hopefully, I don't get fine for that. <laughs> Shot that dude. So it reminds me of Rush in the way this map's designed. It's it's a very symmetrical map. I can tell you that. Look at the look at the mini map right now. It's very symmetrical. I don't like the last one. In the mini map, you can't see all the map. Like, holy cow, shipment, you can see like the entire map in your mini map. From what spot? Oh, wait, where? This is going to match with the MR6. Okay, so we got six minutes left to record some content. So the lanes, it's a very symmetrical map. It, it, I think it's a little bit too big for 1v1. So I feel like the ultimate silence there when I was changing classes. So um, it's a bit too big for 1v1. And maybe you can 1v1 only in this level. I kill myself over here. Hey, look, do, do, do. Guess what? So it's a bit, it's a big map for when we won and it's very symmetrical. Lanes are pretty okay. Lanes are okay, I guess. Call of Duty 4 has really impressed me in the maps. Realistic, 
not not very colors. This is what every single Call of Duty should be. But the DLC should have like at least two maps, two or three maps that are like more colorful. So like each DLC you get colorful maps, less realistic maps, more colorful. But the base map should be very realistic. Because many people just buy Call of Duty and don't buy any DLC. So, last thought, so, realistic, there's gunfire, you can hear the gunfire, I hope you guys can hear the gunfire, but I, I can hear the gunfire. So much fun, you know. That uh, whoops. So that is it of today's episode of Call of Duty Maps. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up. So anyway, my name is Lieutenant Mitten, and see you guys in the next episode of Call of Duty Maps.